Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today, as you can see before us, we have Transformers Legacy Evolution Nova Prime. Now, um, this box was deceptively heavy. Uh, he is just a leader class figure. Um, kind of a, uh, a remold of, a Siege, um, Siege Ultra Magnus and, uh, Galaxy Prime Upgrade, Galaxy Optimus, up, or Optimus Prime Galaxy Upgrade. Huh, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he is, he's pretty heavy. I actually thought, and the box is large too. Let me see. I have a, a leader class box here. Um, give me just a second to dig it out. Okay, here we have um, our. I will be reviewing him soon. The G2 Universe Toxitron next to the Nova Prime box. And you can see the difference in size. It's, uh. The Nova Prime box is a lot bigger than, I, I want to say it's closer to a Commander class size box. So, I know there is some special um, special packaging involved in this because it's a, a Amazon exclusive. We've got this little clamshell box. I've got to cut this open right here and let's go ahead and do that right here and right there let's open this up and see what how he's packaged maybe there we go okay he is uh that's weird <laughs> huh okay um hmm okay let's uh Whoops, let's move this to the side like that. Uh, I really need to review some more things. This whole thing seems to lift out. Whoops, I ripped it a little. Come on, there, okay. Here's his instructions in the back. As well as that little piece of paper with the warnings. Um, this is a weird way of packaging this. <laughs> is he just loose in here? I think he's just loose in here. Yeah, he's just loose in here. Okay. Um, well, uh, you know what? I'm going to cut, get him all unpacked, and then we will continue our review. So be right back after a quick cut. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, here is Nova Prime out of his packaging. That was a bit of an annoying, annoying thing. He wasn't actually tied in there. He was uh, mummified in cray paper. And uh, for some reason, he had those little... Uh, ties around him in like three or four different places that were, I guess, holding parts together. That's all I can think. Um, he does come with the same guns that my Siege Ultra Magnus came with, my Netflix version, um, and I believe that's the same kind that normal Siege Ultra Magnus came with. Uh, he does have an additional gun here which I'm not sure if this is a remold or if this is somebody else's pre-existing gun. We also have a couple extra pieces that attach to him somewhere. I have not looked at the instructions quite yet. And then a couple of pieces. These are big shoulder pads for him. And these go over here. Um, again, I haven't actually looked at the instructions yet to attach them, so I'm not sure how they go on, but we will figure it out really quick here. Um, maybe it goes on the side? No. It's gotta go like that somehow. Anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll look on, I'll look in the instructions to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, uh, Ultra Magnus out, and we'll compare the two. But first, let's go ahead and, uh, 
do another quick cut. I'm going to attach all these bits and bobs, and then we will look at his articulation. Uh, but so far, he is a really cool-looking figure. Uh, my only thing is, uh, I hope I can detach the wings. Just the wings. I want the rest. But um, the wings look a little weird. I understand if he's using them for battle or some sort of limited flight. But... <clears throat> I, I would like the option to remove them, so fingers crossed on that. Anyway, we'll be right back after another quick cut, and uh, yeah, please stick with me. Okay, we are back with, uh, yeah, all of his pieces are put on. The uh, These are extra, and which is really cool because they appear to make a couple of blasters, gauntlet blasters, which I think are really cool. And then uh, the shoulder pads just slipped on and then fit into a little peg right there. The smokestack goes into the little 5 millimeter hole. And uh, he's got blast effects. He's got lots of 5 millimeter ports on here. Um, let's see, he's got one, two. Uh, he's got where these go in. Three, four. <clears throat> Let's see, 5, 6, where the gun goes in, and then the gun keeps, maintains the 5 millimeter port, so you can still do something like that. 6, 7, uh, he's got 8, wait, I lost track. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's 9, and uh, I'm not sure if he's got any more after that. So, <clears throat> it is pretty cool, though. Um, the gun can come off of here. This is where that extra gun goes. It goes on the end of one of his cannons. That can go off here and be held in his arms. Or in his hands. Or, you know, be pegged into any of his ports. However you want to look at that. And uh, the only problem I have with him is that... I'll just leave that gun there for now. His feet don't go exactly flat. And I don't remember if it was like that with the Ultra Magnus mold as well. But that's as far as his feet go that way. They still have the ankle tilt, but that's as far as they'll go. So he can only stand like that. He can't stand like this with his legs together without his toes looking like they're sticking up. Of course, you don't want to do that anyway, because that clips together. That's part of the transformation into vehicle mode. So, there is that. Now, before we go and compare him to Ultra Magnus, let's go ahead and look at all his uh, articulation. But before we do that, I wanted to test this and see if they are Blast compatible. And they are. So we can add blast effects onto his gun, his gauntlets, and even onto his shoulder cannons that swing around. Let's uh let's go ahead and do that really quick first. So you got this goes like that, flips under, and boom, and then he just holds it like that. It holds itself and then obviously because I reattached the gun or you can take out the gun and put the cannon there. And then his other one does the same thing. Boom. Put his arms in and boom. Just like Galaxy Convoy or uh, however you, Optimus Prime Galaxy Mode, however you want to do it. This one also has something for blast effects. So he is just loaded down with blast effects, which I think is really awesome. So, you can really load him up with firepower. Let's go ahead and mount his gun on his shoulder. <laughs> there. <laughs> so he's got all, all the firepower. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and flip these uh, cannons back and go ahead and check out all his articulation. So first, uh, they are a little tricky. They're kind of snug to get around the legs there. Come on. 
his backpack thing is getting in the way. There we go. Okay, boom. Got that all fixed. Now let's check out the articulation on him. I don't need the blast effects anymore. <clears throat> oh, and I believe these guns are also blast effect compatible. Yes, so boom. And uh, those are attached down here on his legs. So I'm not sure if I pointed that out. So anyway, we got full rotation of the head. Um, do his little horn things move? His little horn things do not move. Uh, his head does look a little bit reminiscent of Optimus Prime. Uh, except I'm assuming the Galaxy Upgrade Prime does not have the spikes on the side of a head. Unfortunately, I don't have Galaxy Upgrade Prime, so I can't compare the two. But I know Galaxy Upgrade Prime does not have the uh, the wings. So, um, well, he's got different wings. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah. So, he can uh, rotate his arm all the way around, although his shoulder pads do scrape up against the wings, if you're not careful. Uh, he can T-pose. He's got bicep swivel. He's got 90 degree elbow tilt. And he's got 360 degree wrist movement. He can also pivot on his waist. He's got waist pivot. Yay. He can kick this far forward on a really strong ratch. His rear kick is a little hindered because of all his backpack kibble. He's got almost 90 degree bend on the knee. It might be 90 degree. I can't really tell. He can do the splits. And uh, yes, I already pointed out the ankle tilt, but it doesn't go all the way back up. So other than that, he's got pretty good articulation. Uh, I am happy with him. Uh, he does have an inner robot body that is a smaller, um, you know, like Ultra Magnus. You build the, the armor around the figure. So we will uh, look at the two compared. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Ultra Magnus from my shelf and then... We will look at the two side by side, and then we'll look at the inner robots side by side to see how much they actually changed about the two. So uh, we'll be right back after another quick cut. Thanks for watching. Stick with me. Okay, here are the two side by side. You can see all the differences. Ultra Magnus has considerably different trailer. Um, obviously, uh, I suppose the better one to compare the two to would be the uh, the... Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. I do plan on getting him in the future. Not sure when exactly I'll be able to do that. So I'll do a review of Galaxy Upgrade Prime next to Nova Prime when I do get my Galaxy Upgrade eventually. Uh, Magnus does have these same guns on his sides. Uh, he's got a completely different backpack build, obviously. We will be looking at the inner robot for both of them. So there is that. Um... Nova Prime doesn't have the shoulder cannons. Uh, Nova Prime has a different handgun. And, uh, yeah. But let's see what the differences are for the robot inside. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble them. Oh, and Magnus does have the same ankle tilt deal that Nova Prime has. So, um, there is that as well. So, anyway... After one more quick cut, we will look at them both in their inner robot smaller mode, and then we will look at the vehicle modes. So, be right back after another quick cut. Okay, that took me forever. Here are the two bots in their uh, robot smaller robot modes. We have Ultra Magnus over here and Nova Prime over here. You can see how different they are. They obviously have the same legs and hips. They have a uh, similar... The transformation is all the same. Um, they have a different uh, new molded cod piece. Uh, I think... Yeah, that's the same. 
just painted differently. But then you flip them around and they are molded very differently. So they are made of two different parts. And then obviously the, uh, the cab chest area is completely redone. But the arms are the same as well as the head is simply repainted as well. So those are all the main differences. Also, Ultra Magnus has the uh, nose of the truck as a backpack, whereas um, Nova Prime does not. So there's the differences. Uh, I do have their trailers all transformed, so I'm going to connect them up to their trailers, transforming them into their vehicles. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with the end of this video. So sorry if this has been a really long video for you. Uh, I know I don't usually make them this long, so thank you for sticking with me if you did. Uh, but be right back with the final bit of the video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here we are with Nova Prime and his vehicle form. It is very white. <laughs> and uh yeah it's really cool um now i'm pretty sure i'm not sure how heavily remolded the cab is but i'm pretty sure the only difference between nova prime's uh truck mode and the optimus prime galaxy mode truck is these wings on the side here i believe that these are um different and a lot of this is otherwise the same uh i have to actually look at the galaxy prime <clears throat> but uh these trucks are very different you've got your your ultra magnus here where his wheels and his uh, bumper are all part of his small robot mode whereas his bumper, actually, you can put these on in the small robot mode and have them on his butt. But otherwise, they come off and they become those gauntlet rifle things for the, uh, the, the big robot mode, which is really cool. But yeah, here is our Nova Prime. And he is he's really cool. Uh, like I said, he's very white, which uh, I think is weird considering the... Uh, the evil um, way he's portrayed in uh, from what I read. Um, it's a little fiddly. He doesn't want to stay together correctly. Uh, I probably have something not pegged in correctly. But his, uh, his rear wheels are not actually touching the ground right now. And I thought I had everything pegged in correctly. And now... It's not all of a sudden, so I don't know what I did. <laughs> but anyway, there's Nova Prime. <laughs> he looks cool. Um, he's got these that go up and down. Uh, they can swivel out. So he can shoot in other directions, which is cool. Um, so his his uh, his vehicle mode is is got a lot of utility as far as the guns. Uh, he's got the two big guns on the side here. You can also decide to put them uh, here on the front fenders, here on the back, uh, and I th think uh, maybe here on the shoulders. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's let's check and see if they fit on the shoulder. Nope, that's way too big of a hole. Okay, so yeah, he's got three different places to potentially put these guns. I really wish they had to put some uh, five millimeter holes on here because that would have been cool as well. Also, there is one thing I did not have him transformed correctly in big robot mode. These are his feet, and these are supposed to be flipped out to be heels, and I did not have them. So there is that. Anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Feel free to thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, if you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do. Help me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate that as well. And uh, that all having been said, until next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. And when you go out, please be safe. <laughs> Bye now.